All right, so an update on the garage door a couple days ago. I realized that when you put the garage in manual mode, you just pull the cable and, you know, move it up and down. Um, ever since I put the all, all new, you know, eight out of 10 new rollers and lubed everything, the garage door has been smoother to operate, but it still had a problem closing. It would still reverse itself, you know, a foot off the ground. So what I found was when I moved the door up and down, it would always, it wasn't neutral. The garage would get pulled upward um, with actually a considerable force. So that means in order to push this door all the way down to the floor, it had to push um, against all that extra coil tension. So I, um, I backed it off about half a turn, if I recall correctly. And now, um, it's just, see it's going down on its own, but then it stops. So it's a little over. Uh, it's, it, the coil on the, uh, up here could be tightened a little bit more, but just for experiment's sake, um, I wanted to see if having the door heavier would help, and it helped a lot. And let me show you what that means. I'm gonna bring this over, it'll connect, close the door, and then we're gonna reverse it and watch what happens. Now, it's hard to see, it's a little dark, but I'll, um, it'll get better as I open the door. The chain along the track would get super slacked on one side just as the door was a foot above the floor. Now it doesn't do that at all, even with the door being a little too heavy right now. See the chain? So it's not working too hard to pull it up. Um, but it would go slack like crazy, like a several inches slack. But now watch what happens as it gets down. Yeah, see, it didn't go slack even a little bit. It was perfectly fine. It might be better to show this side. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it and go down again. Now watch the chain. It, it, I mean, it would almost fall off the gears. It was so slack from excessive force. See that? So it's perfect. Um, well, okay, it's not perfect, but it's a whole lot better than it was. And yeah, I could tighten the spring a little bit more to make the garage more neutral, but it works really, really well. Let me show you on the way down here. Okay, so here comes the door. And usually right about there, it would reverse. Now it goes all the way down. It's not. So, um, sorry for the wind. So this led me, doing all the lubrication and changing rollers and stuff, loosened the door up. It's still pretty tight. Um, it's not, you know, terribly smooth, but it was so much smoother, it showed me that the um, uh, the door wasn't balanced properly. It needs to be, a, you know, where it'll, you lift it about halfway up and it'll just sit there. So one of these days I'll go in there and I'll tighten that spring, maybe a quarter of a turn or something and uh, get it more neutral. But right now it's completely stopped with this whole, um, reversing thing. Um, it's been working really good. Show you the distance here. So stop it and about six inches lower than it is right now, it would just stop, shake, and reverse itself. Like glass. So uh, for now we'll call it fixed. Maybe not perfect, but it's an old beat to hell door. So I can't put too much into it, but at least it works for right now. See you, bye.